Hey, I'm Paul Stachniak from Butterscotch.com. So you've gotten to connect, and now what? Well, in this series, I'm going to take you through some of the basics of Microsoft's revolutionary new device, as well as give you some tips to ensure that you have an optimal gaming experience. In this part, for instance, we're going to take you through the setup process of the Kinect hardware. So let's get to it. First, let's take a look at what comes in the box for the Kinect. Of course, you get the Kinect sensor itself, a power adapter for old Xbox units, I'll show you how to use that in a second. A network, a wireless network adapter, which is essentially just a USB extender, literature for the Kinect, and a copy of Kinect Adventures. Now, if you have the new Xbox 360 Slim, you'll notice that there's actually a dedicated Kinect port already installed on the back. And you can sort of tell that because it's got this diagonal slit that appears on the, uh, the male and female end. If you have the old white or black Xbox, you're going to need a special power adapter which comes included in the box. And on the one hand is a power supply, in the middle you have a converter for the Kinect sensor, and on the end you have a USB extension cable which plugs into the Xbox. So as you can see, this is the Kinect sensor next to the uh, dongle attachment for the power converter. It's fairly simple, you just line up the ends and snap them together. Then you take your USB extension cable and plug it into the back of your Xbox. And finally you take the power supply and plug it into any power outlet. And then this is what the setup will look like when it's done. The new Xbox port actually is self-powered. That's why you need this converter. Now the Kinect requires a lot of space to play in. So you'll notice that in this picture here, I've cleared everything out of the room, including a couch and a table and whatnot. Microsoft says that the ideal playing environment for the Kinect is about six to eight feet away from your television. So six feet is for a single person. And if you want two people, you want eight feet. So it's quite a lot of space and be aware of that. As for where the Kinect should go, you want to place the unit about two to five feet from the floor, uh, centered of course, and on a stable surface. Now you can place the unit itself uh, below your television screen or above. If you're going to place it above, you should get a mounting bracket like the one pictured here uh, because we, they really don't recommend that you tape your Kinect, say, to the top of your uh, LCD TV. So be aware that it should be on a stable surface and or attached to a specific mount. And so begins our How Do I series on using the Kinect. Now stay tuned for other parts in this series where I'm going to show you how to use the Kinect software, use the Kinect dashboard, and play Kinect game with a friend. And for step-by-step -step instructions on anything that I've discussed in this episode, check out the show notes at butterscotch.com. Thanks for watching.